So what I'm going to do this week is cover the April livestream which was basically all about the mage archetype. So just before we start, I know we've just had the May live stream, but I've had a lot of stuff going on in real life, so I thought I'd just cover it rather than just skip over it and act like it never happened. After this one, I will be covering May. I've already started editing it, and then I'll get that up in a couple of days. It was a fairly decent live stream, and I always prefer it when they show some actual in-game stuff. I know a lot of people like, you know, graphics, or maybe stuff to do with the studio walkarounds and kind of explaining what's going on in the studio or just general updates on recruitment but for me personally I want to see in game I do like the other stuff but I like seeing in game but without rambling on any further I'll just jump right into the video now and get amongst it all so what did we find out for newcomers or people just you know, wanting to get more information on the mage archetype. Well, the mage is one of eight archetypes in Ashes of Creation, depending on what secondary you choose as a mage. So, you could potentially be somewhat like an acolyte by choosing a cleric secondary, an arch wizard by choosing the mage secondary, a battle mage by choosing the fighter secondary, or even a shadow caster by choosing the rogue secondary. And there's also stuff like a sorcerer by choosing the bard secondary, spell hunter by choosing the ranger secondary, spell stone by choosing the tank secondary and a warlock by choosing the summoner secondary. But now onto what we found out in the live stream. Stephen was joined by three of his team. One was Keenan, one of the engineers, Mr. Chad was one of the senior designers and Mr. John was one of the senior visual effects artists. So the focus of the mage preview was on the ice and lightning spell and how they worked together to make synergies. However, the hot bar did show other spells which were fire and earth based and the preview took place in the Hall of Judication, which was an alien prison where criminals were held for court. Stephen, however, didn't go inside as it was filled with goblins which were higher level than he could fight. He then went into what each spell and ability did. Bear in mind, Stephen had his cooldown on Zero to showcase the abilities. First off, we had Blink. This is a 20 second cooldown and was in Alpha 1. It's mainly used for closing the gap between you and your target or for repositioning away from your target dependent on your playstyle. He then Next moved on to the ability Shell. Shell's got no cooldown. This is a big health shield that will surround the caster and it absorbs a lot of damage. It has short duration, however this duration can be affected by augments. Timing's also going to be very important when using these abilities. The third ability we saw was Ball Lightning. This ability creates a large ball of electricity that travels forward in a straight line. It's going to rapidly deal lightning damage to enemies that come into contact with it and it also applies an electrified condition to the enemy hits. When thrown it will follow the terrain so if there is a downward slope it will follow the slope and will not hover in the air as it travels along which is fairly decent. Good for PvP and good for PvE and even going in Alpha 2 I wouldn't have been shocked if some bug or some bullshit like that happened where it just floated off but it's nice to see they're already polishing away at that and it isn't a buggy mess. And I know that seems like wow well come on mate like it should track the ground don't be fucking stupid but you've got to understand this is pre-Alpha 2 and I've played many games where just shit like this is overlooked and it's all jagged and jittery and it just looks awful so to see the quality when you, you look at the workload and kind of what they're doing already I'm quite impressed by it um, and I know there's vast improvements to come and things will change but going into pre-alpha 2 I do like what I'm seeing even if the eyes have dipped away from Ashes lately obviously because he said alpha 2 won't be coming till next year or later next year but um, I, I still think it's extremely valid progression that they're showing then the fourth ability we saw was Blizzard. Blizzard is an AoE attack that rains down projectiles that deal damage while stood in the area of effect. Enemies also accumulate a chilled debuff. You can end the cast early by pressing the ability again if you need to. The caster can move around a bit while using this ability as well. So the fifth ability we saw was Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold is a cone shaped AoE again that blasts in front of the caster. It deals ice damage and like other frost spells it applies a chill debuff to the enemy it hits. And the ice effects it leaves on the floor are actually ice mines that will explode once the enemy gets near, dealing damage and applying chilled, which is pretty cool and strategically in PvE or PvP can be used quite tactically and I think 
think that's a decent move especially combining with other archetypes communicating within voice chat and making sure you get the most effectiveness out of certain abilities and this isn't even all that the classes have to offer or this specific archetype as an offer but it's really good to see already in my mind running thinking how you could play this how you could potentially win or how this could be an issue and pretty OP at certain times with certain spells I'm seeing within the game not just within this archetype but many others but moving on to the sixth ability we've seen the lightning strike now the lightning strike is a single target ability which can be changed to do more or less damage it will also apply two stacks of debuff electrified to the enemy you hit one thing to note once you have 10 stacks of electrified the debuff will change to shock and the attacks after that will do additional damage until the stacks of electrified are used up and another thing to note with that another mage ability is that elemental empowerment once you've cast an elemental spell your weapon will deal additional damage and apply stacks of debuff depending on what elemental spell was last used casting a different spell though will change the element next we saw frostbolt frostbolt is a single target ability that as the name suggests launches a ball of frost at the enemy dealing damage and giving the enemy two stacks of the chill debuff after hitting the target with several ice spells a target's gonna gain the frozen status effect and then hitting it with another spell such as something like lightning is gonna cause the reaction shattered now what that's gonna do is cause a shit ton of damage to the target and then we saw the two abilities mixed in together one of them was chain lightning chain lightning is a lightning spell that hits the primary enemy and then chains lightning from that enemy to other enemies nearby it deals lightning damage and applies three stacks of electrified condition to the primary target and any other target that it hits and the other ability was slumber now this is a smaller area of effect that applies the sleeping status to the target and any targets within the small area around the primary target they're not going to be able to move or attack while under the sleeping status any damage to the sleeping targets will cause them to wake up and break the status that's fairly common in most spells like this or games to be fair but yeah that's sound fairly decent and with the combination of different things within the game and everything else looking into consideration there's definitely going to be some crazy players going on in pvp and pve so the final ability we saw during the made showcase was the arcane volley now the arcane volley is a single target ability that unlike the rest of the spells shown doesn't have any particular element associated with it the devs have said that it might look a little bit underwhelming but it's really great in synergy with the shock status effect and it only has a two charge cooldown due to its low cooldown it's great for using for example when you've reached the shocked status effect and then after that the devs took over controlling the mage to kind of showed us how the combos would work together and give us a bit of a roundup video and give us some kind of in-game um, footage of us kind of playing with the mage which is always nice to see I'll be honest I like looking at the graphical designs and other things but I've been following them for quite a long time now and watching every stream and you know we've got a, a, a one where a party where we join we all watch and we post and communicate and so personally I do like to see the in-game footage footage because I'm always watching Twitter and I'm always watching Instagram and all the other things so I kind of know about a lot of the image we've seen I'm looking on the forums actively and following stuff so it doesn't really surprise me a lot of times when I see certain things I kind of see it coming but when you see in-game stuff that's what I like to see I like to see the in-game development what I will say is channel is a little bit quiet and Ash's content is some arc content arc ascension arc 2 and obviously I'm going to be heavily following Ash's as I've stated before but it's a little bit quiet at the minute and I think the team is a little bit on the quiet side but I think that just proves the kind of knuckling down, really cracking on, getting shit done. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Alpha 2 is developing future streams. I think we've got a lot of fucking good shit coming this year, a lot of good content. And yeah, I know the hype for it's died down. And for anyone new to Ashes or looking into it, this happens. It goes up and down and up and down. But yeah, it, it is the way it is with all developing games. But what I can say, to have guilds recruiting this heavily, to have this much eyeballs on Ashes before the games, even in Alpha 2, is just fucking amazing um, and the way they're developing and you know if you're looking for a job and you're in the gaming industry they are actively recruiting i know it's quite strict to get in also if you're a content creator and you're pushing out content you can apply for content creation you don't really have to i suppose but if you're really invested in the game i would go for it and if you are looking to give feedbacks 
and you're getting slaughtered by the warlords over on Reddit, I would genuinely go to the forums and I think Steven and Intrepid should be pushing them forums a lot more because I think people are a lot more open on there and um, there is some criticism but I don't think it's as toxic and I think it's a really nice place they should be pulling feedback from as well as YouTube and the comment sections and even within the Discord. Now with all that rambling out the way I really do appreciate watching the videos, supporting the channel and even though I haven't posted the past couple of weeks because life's been crazy and as I've said before I don't just want to push out content on Ashes for the sake of pushing out content. I really want to cover what I believe is valid and bring quality to the channel. Um, it is a bit of a weird one growing a channel while the game isn't out but that's something I plan to do and when Ashes drops in Alpha 2 the amount of content and footage I'll be getting will just be ridiculous. I've already planned some stuff up and got a lot of ideas in the work and there's more footage and other games coming to the channel. I'm currently in the middle of recording um, something that's been going on for about 2-3 months now but uh, I can't release it till it's finished because it would kind of fuck the uh, game dynamics and the stuff I'm doing and the other members I'm playing with would potentially fuck their game experience up so I don't want to risk that. But as always I really do appreciate you watching the video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Did you like this stream? Is there anything I've missed? Also hit that like button and share the video. It really does help with my goal of kind of reaching 2k subs by the time Alpha 2 drops. I do think it's attainable. It's a big goal but we'll see what we can do. Cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.